Okay, <clears throat> today we're going to work on hand qigong. Now, what you want to do with hand qigong, you want to start out, first off you want to, oh, this, this is, this is Dave. Alright, now what you want to do first is you want to bump the base of the thumbs together. You want to, you want to do this 36 times minimum, you know, the base, the base of the thumbs right here. Bump the base of the thumbs together. 36 times. Now this is good to help fend and work with the sinuses, the lungs, and the brain. And next, you want to go to the palms up, and you want to pop, you want to bump the pinky side of the palms. This is good for to ward off osteoporosis. And then next, you want to make a soft fist with the hands facing each other, and bump 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 the wrist the wrist together. This is good for to warm, warm you up and also heart issues. And next you want to bump the webs, the webs, the webs of the thumbs together on one side. And what, what this, this is good for heart issues and upper body issues. Next, do the other side. And then next you want to interlace your fingers, but make sure to start out with the left pinky on the outside and circle your hands clockwise and counterclockwise. Go vertical and horizontal. And after you do it on one side, switch, put the other pinky on that side, and do that same thing again. Circle one way, up and down, and then go the other way, horizontally and vertically. Next, you want to clap your hands, but clap your hands together flat to get the chi moving through the body. And again, you want to do all these at least 36 times minimum. All right, I don't want to lose your attention span, so I'm only going to do it 10 times. Next, open the one palm and bump the la gong point with the loose fist of the other hand. This is good for heart issues and also warm, warm you up. Switch and do the other side. And then the, the one I like best is to bump the back of the hand to the back of the hand. This is good for, this is good for, to re regulate the blood sugar, which is very important. Switch and do the other side, especially in today's society. A lot of people are getting the uh, uh, the blood sugar spikes and stuff. All right. Now, little exercise to get the chi moving. Come all the way around. Go all the way around, and then go the other way. This activates all the acupuncture points in the hands. And then a fun one a fun one, a fun one, a fun one to work on is to work on the dexterity and the coordination is to go up and down, left and right. Now, to work cognitively, put the left hand on the index finger and the thumb. Leave the right hand on the pinky. Now, go down on the left, up on the right. <laughs> now, when I first started this, I was getting it, but I had to like really look at my hands while I was doing it. Then after a while, I would look at my hands and it would mess me up. Again, pinky on one hand, index on the other. Go down to the pinky and up to the thumb. Doop, doop, doop. Good, good. All right, thank you very much. Hello. Okay, another, another good one for chi circulation for the hands would be start out Take each finger and go one at a time. 
down and one at a time back up. This is good for dexterity and coordination. Now what I want you to do is leave the left hand on the thumb and the index finger. Put the right hand on the pinky and the thumb. Now come up on the right and go down the left. Cognitive. Yeah, baby. And the next one is a little bit easier. Take your left index finger, put it on your thumb, put your right index finger on your left thumb, and then go down to your index finger, and then or, or come up to your index finger. Thumb is always consistent. And then switch to your middle finger, ring finger, pinky. Thumb is always consistent. And then come back down, ring finger, middle finger, index finger. Nice.